Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Matt Antonelli here. I am sitting in traffic on my way out to the New England Baseball Complex in Northborough, Mass. We've got an Antonelli Baseball 17U game tonight. And as I'm driving over there, um, gotten a ton of questions over the last couple of weeks about recruiting. This is kind of the beginning now of really big time for, for recruiting. And so talk about a couple of things. I really want to talk about maybe one of the most important things when it comes to the recruiting process. Now, the, I shouldn't say that because there's so many important things, but this is, this is one, one of the really important things. Um, and it, it has to do with the way to get recruited. And there's a lot of players that aren't taking advantage of it. And what it is is getting a video of yourself, making a recruiting video or a skills video, whatever you want to call it, but getting a video, getting it online so that college coaches can see what your skill set looks like. This is one of the easiest ways to get the recruiting process started. College coaches, they have so many things to do. They have so many places to be. They have so many showcases, so many tournaments, so many players to watch. They can't be everywhere at once. And so as a player, if you just think that you're going to just go out during the summer and you're going to play and then, you know, college coaches are just going to, you're just going to kind of hope that they're at the field and hope they're watching you and then hope you have a good day. And I mean, that's a lot of hoping, right? And so if you, if you're going to do that, if you're just gonna try to use hope as a strategy, it's it's gonna be really, really tough to get recruited. Unless you're just an amazing player, hope you, maybe you play on a great team that plays at the best showcase or the best tournaments, and all the college coaches know that they gotta come watch your team play, right? Then maybe you'll get recruited, but for most players, that's that's not the case, right? And so college coaches have to know you exist. They have, that's, that's the only way you can get recruited. And so the easiest way is to make a video showing your skills, okay? So what we do with Anthony Baseball is we make a video for all of our recruitable players, okay? And it's very simple. So I'm going to talk about some of the things to do, some of the things to include. I get a lot of questions when I talk about this, and so I'm going to try to hit on everything. If, if I don't hit on something, if I forget something... Just shoot me a question in the comment section below and I'll try to help you out. We also have made a ton of videos on the recruiting process. I've got a whole playlist on YouTube dedicated to this, so go check that out as well. So let's just talk about how easy it is to make a skills video or recruiting video. All you need is an iPhone or a phone and a tripod and maybe somebody to throw to you or hit your fungos, okay? And so what you're gonna do, let's just say you're an infielder, or let's say you're a position player, okay? Well, you can start off with some defensive stuff. If you're an infielder, if you're a shortstop, then all you need to do is set the tripod up and get yourself in the shot to where someone's gonna hit you a couple of ground balls. You're gonna feel the couple of ground balls, you're gonna throw the ball to first base. Set the camera up so that they can see your fielding mechanics, throwing mechanics, but also, you should have a couple of shots to where they can see ball flight and kind of see how the ball comes out of your hand and what your what your arm looks like, okay? Doesn't have to be anything crazy. Just a couple of balls, maybe a few at you, backhand, forehand, maybe a slow roller. You can throw in some double plays also. And that's really all you need for fielding, okay? It doesn't have to be long. It's actually better if you keep it short because college coaches have a lot of stuff going on and they don't want to sit there and watch 25 minutes of you fielding. So just cut it up real quick. Put your best five, six, seven ground balls, throw it in there really quick, okay? Boom, you're done with your fielding. Hitting, just set the set this, the phone up so that they can see ball flight, okay? So whether they set it up, you set it up behind the catcher from the catcher's perspective, all right? If you have a net, and then you can also put it on the side so they can see your, your hitting mechanics from the side. And all you need is a couple of swings each way. Get somebody to throw you BP. If you can't find somebody to throw you BP, even like front toss, something to where, again, that they can just see your bat speed. They can see your, your overall hitting mechanics. And that's plenty good enough, okay? 
boom, you're done with you're done with hitting. <laughs> That's all you need. Running. If you can run, put the camera down the first base line and just go home the first. Something really simple, okay? Where they can see at least what you look like. They can tell if you're an athlete or not. If you're really slow, then don't include it. <laughs> just don't put it in there, okay? Cut it up real nice, right? It should be it should be literally two minutes, and that's all you really need if you're an infielder fielding. You showed yourself field, throw, showed yourself hit, and run, all right? And that's all you need. If you're an outfielder, set the camera up, hit a couple of fly, I get someone to hit a couple of fly balls to you, a couple fly balls, throw the bases, a couple ground balls, throw the bases, maybe six balls, that's all you need, okay? And then do your hitting, and then, and then again, you're running, okay? Um, if you're a pitcher, if you can get some type of, you can do it two ways, if you can get some type of screen behind the catcher set your tripod up right behind that screen it's important to have a radar gun if you can get a radar gun in the shot that way you don't have to coaches don't have to guess and you don't have to tell them because a lot of times players will exaggerate they throw 82 they, they're going to say they throw 87 and so if you can get a radar gun so there's no questions asked the coach can see what the speed of each pitch is throw a couple of fastballs a couple breaking balls change ups whatever you got Literally 10 pitches is all I need to see, okay? If you can't set the camera up from behind, then set it up from behind you as the pitcher so they can see where the ball's going. And then also include a side shot, basically looking at your chest just so they can see your overall mechanics, okay? Do a couple from the wind-up, a couple from the stretch, and that's really all you need, and you're done. The important things to think about or to realize is that it doesn't need to be game footage. A lot of times players are like, I need to get game stuff, but I can't get game stuff because it's hard to film. It doesn't have to be game stuff, okay? They're looking at a skill set. College coaches can tell really, really quickly when they watch a video of you if you have the potential to possibly play their, their school or not, okay? So what they're using this for is to say, do I want to spend the time to go see this player play? They're not gonna look at the video and say, oh, I'm gotta, i I'm gonna offer this guy a scholarship right now. They're gonna look at the video and say, should I go watch him? Or, again, should I not? Is it worth my time to go watch this guy and see what he looks like in person? And then they're gonna come out and watch you play in games, okay? This is just to get them there, to, to let them know that you exist and to get them there, okay? Um, again, keep the video short. Don't make it 20 minutes long. Don't make it 10 minutes long. You want to catch their attention really, really quickly and keep it short, okay? So whatever it is you do best, put that first. If you're an amazing hitter, put hitting first. If you're a super slick fielder, put fielding first. If you're a two-way guy but you're a way better pitcher, put pitching first, okay? Get, grab the coach's attention right away because... Honestly, most coaches are going to make a decision within the first like 10 seconds if they think that you're good or not, if they want to pursue you, if they want to go out and watch you or not, all right? So that it doesn't have to be long. It doesn't have to be professionally made. It can be made by yourself. If you have iMovie, iMovie on your computer, that's how I do all mine, okay? So I got Final Cut Pro, iMovie, same, it's the same thing. You just do it on your computer. It doesn't have to be fancy. You don't need music. Don't put music, okay? Please don't put music. You don't need any of that stuff that people think like, oh, this makes my recruiting film look legit. Like, there's no such thing as legit. Just put yourself exactly what I just said, okay? And just make sure you cut it so that there's not a lot of dead time. We don't need to see you like throw the ball and then walk back to your position and take a breather. Like, cut all that out. Keep it nice and short and quick again, all right? Now, once you have that, you gotta put in just some information on yourself. So we always put the player's name, we're gonna put their height and weight, we're gonna put their position, gonna put where they're from, where they go to high school, um, graduation date, I don't know if I said that already. Gonna put their test scores, ACT, SAT, you're gonna put GPA, you're gonna put a reference. So put a play, a coach that they can contact, okay? So whether it's your high school coach or summer ball coach, just put somebody that you think that is gonna say nice things about you, okay? <laughs> put that on the video as well. and. That's it, you're done. If you wanna kinda of see what ours look like, all of mine, all our, our videos are all up on YouTube for all of our players. So if you just type in, um, I don't know if you guys know any of our players, but let me just think of a couple of past guys. If you put in like, go on YouTube, type in Antonelli Baseball, Jake Gustin, okay? It's one of our players from uh, two years ago. Uh, well, I guess he played last year with us, actually. Um, he's at Bryant now. You can see his recruiting video. Type in uh, Nick Palma. Um, 
if you guys know any of our players, any player that you know from us that played with us in the past, they're going to have a recruiting video up there. Okay? So just type in their name and you can see exactly what it looks like and then just copy exactly what I did. It's super, super easy. Okay? Now, you're going to take that recruiting video and now you're going to email it to schools. So you're going to find, you, we've talked about a target list in the past. So if you haven't seen that video, go over and check out target list. Okay? You're going to have a list of schools that you feel fit. Um, and you're going to email those schools. Okay? So it can be a very simple, simple email. All right? You're going to make sure you send it to the send it to the head coach and the recruiting co coordinator. You can you can just CC the recruiting coordinator and all the other coaches. Just send it to all of them, okay, to make sure somebody gets it. It really depends. You know, at like a lower at like a division 3, usually the head coach is going to do more recruiting. Maybe at a division 1, it falls more in the recruiting coordinator, but just send it to all the coaches if you're not really sure just to make sure somebody gets it, okay? And all you're going to do is you're going to write a little email. And you're going to write, hi, coach, my name is, put your name, put all that information I talked about already. So put where you go to school, your grad year, put your position, put your size and weight, put your summer ball team, all that stuff. Give them a, a quick little thing so they obviously know who you are, okay? Make sure you put your academic stuff. Put your SAT and ACT, put your GPA, all your academic stuff. Just throw it in there again so they know academically if you could fit. Um, put a, just a quick little thing about why you're interested in the baseball program, okay? And put something that has to do with baseball. Do a little bit of research. And just put it very quick, one sentence. Don't give them a whole paragraph. They're not going to want to read that. Just one quick sentence about it, okay? And just make sure it's correct. Don't be like, uh, because you guys always win the, the uh, ACC and uh, you send it to a school that's been in last place for the last seven years. Don't do that, okay? Just find something very quick and easy about the school that you like. Make it a baseball reason, again, because you're trying to be a baseball player, all right? And put that in there. And then all you got to say is, I know your, your time is valuable, whatever. I put a, a, a short skills video or recruiting video, whatever you want to call it. And then you're going you're gonna to take your recruiting video and you're just going to upload it to YouTube. Okay? And then you're going to take the link from YouTube and you're going to put it right in the email and say, here's the link. Put the link right there so they can just click on the link and then YouTube's going to pop up and your video is going to pop up. Okay? Make it really, really simple for them. Okay? Um, then they're going to be able to watch it. And then after that, you're just going to put your baseball reference. Put a couple references. Again, put your high school coach. Put your summer ball coach. Somebody that is going to be nice to you. Put their name. Put their number so they can get in contact with them. Put your contact information. Put your cell phone. Obviously, they have your email now. So but throw your email in there anyway to make sure, again, that they can get in contact with you. And that's really all you need. And just put something like, you know, let me know if there's anything else I can do to be recruited by your school, by your program, whatever. Thank you so much. Have a great day. That's it. Okay? And you're going to send that out to any school that you're interested in. All right? Um, we, like I said, we make this for all of our players. And it's funny because we're getting into high school is just about to end right now. And so we're going to start making our videos for all our high school guys once they get back from high school. Um, but we had a pitcher two nights ago. His high school's already done. He was at practice. After practice, he said, Coach, I'm going to throw a bullpen. We put a tripod down. We put a camera. Put a... Put a a uh, radar gun. All right, so we're going to do this again for him once our team gets together, but this was before we even got together. Put a quick video. He threw like seven pitches. He did it himself. He cut it up quick, sent it out to, the to all the colleges on his target list. Immediately, I started receiving tons of phone calls, emails, text messages, all about him. All right, it took, thir it took not even a day. Okay? Now, obviously, he had a skill set that when they watched the video, these schools said, man, I think this guy could possibly play for us. I got to learn more about this guy. All right? So, it, it's, it really is that easy. And it's a huge part of the recruiting process that a lot of players sometimes just neglect. And they just think, well, I'm just going to go out in the field and I'm going to play and I'm going to hope that people come and they watch me and they like me. But like I said, there's so many places for college coaches to go that why would you just hope that they show up when you can go right to them with your video and they can see you and then say, hmm, this kid's pretty interesting. I think I'm going to follow up and see if I can go find this kid or at least call his coach and find out more information about him, okay? So hopefully that helps you out again. Let me know in the comment section below. I probably forgot something, but I'm driving and, uh, and so if I forgot anything, again, put in the comment section below and I will help answer the questions. Make sure you go watch all our other videos on recruiting. I've made literally like 100 recruiting videos probably. 
and they all have advice. Again, we've been helping players get recruited now since we started Antelope Baseball six years ago, all right? And uh, I also coach in high school where we're helping tons of players every year move on to play college baseball. So I know this stuff really works. Let me know if you have any questions. Subscribe to the channel. Give it a thumbs up. Share with all your friends all that good stuff, and we'll talk to you later.